Guess what folks, we making shrimp Creole. Let's get it. All right, look, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start prepping my veggies, right? So I'm cutting down my celery. I'm not gonna bore you guys, I'm just gonna get everything prepped up and then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the bell pepper. Okay, good. so you can see, look, all of my veggies, they ready to go. Onion, celery, bell pepper, right? So now you just wanna go ahead and start with your butter. All right, we'll just start getting this going. All right, now look, I like to protect my onion, uh, my butter. You know, we're gonna just put a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in here. That right there should about do it. All right, so when I mentioned, you know, like, okay, butter, olive oil, the olive oil, what it does is it protects the, you know, the butter, keeps it from burning, you know, so quickly. I used to think that it would stop it from burning all together, but it doesn't. Now, you see that right there? We got that going, right? So now you wanna go ahead, uh, I'm gonna do it more traditional the way I do it. I'm gonna add my onions, right? After my onions, I'm gonna bring my celery and bell pepper. I'm just moving this around, right? Cause I want to get that butter, that infused olive oil flavor all over. And I got to say this, the disclaimer is, listen, if you don't have infused olive oil, you know, regular olive oil, that works just fine. You know what I mean? Uh, and then some people gonna even ask, can I use anything else like canola, vegetable? Yes, you can. You know what I mean? Uh, but this right here, if you just want your flavors to be just way over the top, I start with great ingredients. I'll put everything down in the, you know, number one comment, and I like to put it in my description box also. If you guys are ever interested in getting something like that, you know what I mean, uh, I got to start for you. You know what I mean, and I promise you, if you read the comments, you guys will see that everything, just about everything that I make, just about pleases everybody's palate, right? So check this out. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and let these, like, saute, cook down, sweat, whatever uh, language you, verbiage you would like to use, I'm gonna let these go. I'm gonna probably let these go until they get soft. I don't even wanna put a time on it, but uh, the flame that I have, I'm gonna say it probably takes me about eight to 10 minutes, right? So, we got everything flat. We are gonna let that work. Let these sweat, get a little bit soft. And then I'll show you guys the next part. Okay, so I'm gonna say it's been about eight minutes. When I touch them, they nice, even to my little spatula. That's what you want. I know a lot of us wanna have them set times, but I can tell you this. How can you tell what time it is when you don't even know if you're matching the same flame, right? So if we got something around medium, right? Medium, low, you know, you just want to keep them going. Now you see I'm starting to add my garlic, right? Now, it's going to take me a minute to load my press up, right? So I'll leave it and I keep them on top just the way you see, right? I'm going to add these other two. And now we go ahead and just start moving this around, letting that heat hit it and letting the garlic, you know, sweat heat up and it releases aromatics into the air, right? And it's releasing its flavor in here. Now I don't keep moving it so long, you know what I mean? Cause we nice and hot. We not letting nothing sit on the bottom so it won't burn, nothing like that, right? Now we just start adding our seasoning. Real simple folks. Ah oh, yeah, you can start smelling it, do its thing. It has a, oh, right off the back, it smells like you know, something down south, Louisiana. It's got that Creole smell to it already. Now we go ahead, ooh, that's it right there. Remember folks, we wanna have the right tools. I know sometimes we cook with them, you know, tablespoons and all that, but how you gonna get the rest out? For some of y'all, I know how you gonna get it out. Same way I'm finna do, we finna put a little water in the can, swirl it around and get that in here too. Right now, I just wanna get this mixed up first, make sure nothing burn. Start heating it up. All right, so now what I did was I just added a, a cup of water to this, swirled it around, got all of the residue off the sides and all of that. Now we wanna bring this to a boil. All right, so you see, we done brought it up. It's starting to roll, right? Now I'm gonna add my W sauce, give this a mix. That W sauce give it that deep, that deep flavor, you know? You guys gotta have it. So look at the color. You guys can almost see the texture. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm liking this right here. Now I'm gonna let this cook for about seven to eight minutes. You know, uncover it, right? I'm gonna stop. We're gonna add our bay leaf because we hot. We just wanted to drop in like that. Ooh, it smells so good. I'm gonna set it up, my fire to a simmer, and then we're gonna let it work. Look at that right there. 
This is what you want. Look at the consistency. See how it cooks down? I went a little further. I went to 10 minutes. At my heat, I like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and address this over here. We're gonna talk about the spices and then what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna talk about the shrimp. Okay, so look, this is what I wanna do is give you some options about kicking it up with a little heat. I don't wanna overpower it, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just use some Tabasco, right? I'm gonna use, you know, a couple of shakes of that. You know, you can always add some red chili flakes. And then if I really wanted to like make it super strong, I could have went with the uh, Creole kick. Now, just a couple little splashes, you don't need that. That probably equaled like maybe a teaspoon, but that's it. You want to get this in here, get this nice and, you know, heat it up. This right here will take you guys more so, you know, back to those who had it more like on the authentic side. That right there is it. Sometimes I add chili flakes. You know, I do different things for different folks. It really depends on the palate, right? Okay, so when it comes to the shrimp, now, you know, these are real fleshy. I could have put some Creole kick or any type of seasoning on here that I want to if I wanted to get, you know, get it deep into the meat. But for me, I like for the Creole, everything that I built up, my base, I like for that to be inside of this too without it being overpowering, right? So, these have already been cleaned and deveined. We just add these. We still under the, you know, that simmer. You know, whatever it took for you guys to get a simmer, that's what you want. I'm gonna put these in here like this and then I'm gonna give it a stir. And then we're just gonna let it cook for maybe about two or three minutes and then I'm gonna remove it from the heat. And when I say remove from the heat, you guys gonna still see it sitting in the same position. I mean, I'm gonna turn it off. All right, folks. So now I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna add it in here just like this, right? You know that the shrimp is cooked. You see how it curls up? You know what I mean? You don't wanna like overcook them. And then notice how I did my uh, I did my rice. You know, this is really just for the presentation. You know, we just get it like this. This is an extremely big bowl, but you guys get the, the gist of it, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. I'm gonna clean some of that up, fix that, hit it with a little parsley, you know, for a little garnish and a little lemon, and then we're gonna go from there. I'm gonna go ahead and get in here like this. I'm not even gonna eat that just shrimp yet. I just like my rice. You know what I mean, with the whole trinity and all of that. Look, cheers, folks. Mm. Now check it out, folks. I ain't got a whole lot to say. Listen, if you're looking for a meal that you want to put together and you want it to be like super easy, huge on the flavor and taste, then this right here is the way to go. You know what I mean? Uh, if you never ever had it, let me know. I made it, look, this is the shrimp creole. You can make it with chicken. I got a video on that also. Listen, that whole down south creole theme that's on my channel, you guys let me know. Let's open up the discussion and then we go from there. Now, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out here, check this out. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, folks, I done squeezed a whole lot of lemon on this and guess what? I'm out. Peace.